Somebody commented on Conquest in the forum about Medellin and um, Scopo Girls. So for, I need you to firstly explain what a Scopo Girl is and how likely is it that guys coming here are going to get attacked by them, basically? So first of all, Scopo is just short for scopolamine, which is a drug that you can find in this part of the world that grows naturally. I don't know if you've ever seen that white flower. You can see it sometimes, like if you're driving on the road, you can see it growing in trees. It kind of looks like a, a trumpet, yeah. so it, it grows down, it's white. They call it devil's breath or devil's trumpet. And basically what happens is there are girls that actively go out and search for naive tourists and use this drug to rob them. So what they would do, they would, it would often be two or more girls. They would prey on an unsuspecting foreigner. They would go out for drinks with him and slide in some scopolamine into his drink. And oftentimes it happens when they're in a secluded place so they can rob his phone or his wallet or in his apartment where they just clean him out. Now, this happens a lot here in Medellin. It is famous right. for scopolamine, for people getting scopolamine. But I think that if you have common sense, you wouldn't allow two or three random chicks off Tinder into your apartment on the first date and just go out and start drinking with them, right? So these guys assume that three random hot Latinas want to come directly to their apartment? That's correct. And, and of course, yeah. yeah, of course that's going to happen, yeah. Yeah, so that's, that's, basically, that's basically it. They think that these girls are coming over for, to bang and uh, they're not. They're just out there to prey on naive tourists. Yeah. And um, usually these girls are backed by gangs. So they are not just doing it on their own. They are a part of a very organized and intricate crime group. They have hackers behind them to hack the phones, to hack the laptops. They know how to get into the bank accounts. They are very tactical. So they will not just drug you and take your phone and run off because then they'll get caught on security cameras. They are very, very tactical with what they do. They barely get caught a lot of the times i'm not going to say it because i live here but there are people behind them so i don't want to get in trouble because i live here but there is certain people in power that are corrupt and help let these organized crime groups thrive in the city so to answer your question it's girls that go around drugging unsuspecting tourists with scopolamine, which grows naturally here in Medellin. And it happens a lot. It happens a lot. It happens right. a lot to, to tourists. They, they don't do it to each other because, um, yeah, it just, it just, it's insane. Speaking of which, it has never happened to me. Why? And this is the thing that a lot of people have noticed in my videos is that I am very, very conscious when it comes to sussing out people. So I'm very clued up on social cues. So I can pick up people's vibes and intentions very fast. So if I feel that a girl has got the wrong intentions, I'm out of there. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be spending my time or inviting her back to my place. But a lot of naive tourists that think, oh, it's Colombia. Girls are easy. They're not going to think that. They're just going to think, oh, yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting two bitches tonight and they're going to end up drugged. And then they wake up the next morning thinking, oh, fuck, what the, hap what the hell happened? Why do I know this much about it? I live here and I've seen yeah. many stories about it. So the saying goes, if it feels too good to be true, probably it probably is. is. Yeah. You're not going to get that threesome with no. them two hot Latinas <laughs> or foursome. So I've seen a lot of these news articles. If you live in Medellin, you'll see it come up on Instagram, on Facebook. Guys just getting robbed, mugged, drugged, killed even for their cell phone. Um, and it's their own fault at the end of the day. You shouldn't be picking up hookers. And secondly, you shouldn't be inviting random girls into your place for a threesome. You should scope them out. Literally scope them out before they scope, scope you out. Scope all girls. 
Scope out the scope of girls before they scope yards.